Hi, uh, I'm Marco Cantu and welcome to my first uh, Tiburon Unicode video. Uh, Tiburon is the forthcoming version of, of Delphi that's going to support the for the first time in the code gear development environment the Unicode uh, character set. For this first video I'm going to cover um, a simple program that can show the um, various uh, characters on screen. So we can start to fill the string with with the initial portion, the so-called ace key 7 character set up to 128. Um, and that's what we get. Uh, well, because I actually skip the control, the first 31 control, 32 control characters. So that's letters and numbers. Now, of course, if we continue displaying all ASCII 8 characters, we get way more, including extra symbols and uh, accented uh, letters and special accents. And that's all. That's all we could easily manage. Uh, in, in Delphi, of course, we could use double byte encoding and other tricks, but they were far from uh, easy to manage. Now comes Unicode, so I can actually display the Unicode, the initial portion of the Unicode set. And you might be in for a surprise here because you probably thought that the beginning of the ASCII character set and of the Unicode character set were identical, while from here it appears they are not. Uh, technically, technically it's true they are identical, uh, but basically what Microsoft did was fill uh, useless, <laughs> uh, if we can say so, uh, spots, uh, useless control characters with extra symbols. But I'll get back to that later. Let me first show you the code for this portion of the program. If we get back at design time, if I press the first button, what happens? I'm just filling the string grid cells with the um, character corresponding to the various numbers. And now, What's new here, I have to explicitly use ANSI car if I want an 8-bit uh, character. Otherwise, I'm going to get a 16-bit one, which is uh, the, the, the car char definition in, the, in Tiburon is actually wide char, not, not ANC char. So this is how we print the in first part of the set. This is how we print the entire set. And then if we go back at design time and pick, click the other button here, again, same range, but this time I'm just printing the wide char corresponding to the number. And this is how I get the initial portion of the Unicode uh, character set. Now, where things start getting interesting is if you look at the little bit of source code down here, um, there are two different symbols declared differently, an ANC car and a car, or actually white char, and they are both assigned to the same symbol, to the same identical symbol, which is actually quite useful where I live, the euro sign. Uh, that's kind of a recent symbol that was retrofitted by Windows in the base character set. So in fact, if we ask for the ordinal value of the NC character, we get the traditional um, number, what you might be used to in Delphi 2007 and before. If we go for assign the same constant value to a Unicode character and we get the ordinal value, we are going to get a different number altogether. So if I press this euro button, the first value I get is 1 to 8. Uh, that's what you might be expecting. But the uh, Unicode code point is actually 8,364. And that's where the euro symbol lives in the Unicode character set. So as we start to learn how to move to Unicode, you, we ha first have to learn about the Unicode character set in itself, uh, because you can't really take it for granted if you had no previous exposure to it. So I'm going to 
stop here for this first demo for this first video and the next one we're actually going to show in a similar grid the entire Unicode charter set. That's all for now. Bye.